Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to bind the FT Guardian V2 to the Zora transmitter. Now if you guys haven't already pre-programmed your Zora transmitter, we have a video specifically for you showing you how to assign each individual switches that not only work on the FT Guardian V2, but also the FT Tiny Whoop and many other quads that you'll be programming in the future. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you haven't assigned these switches, feel free to go and stop that now, go down in the link below, click on that, watch it, and then come back and we'll continue our journey here. Now, first things first, if you haven't already removed your props, definitely pause and do that right now. You don't want to have your props installed at any time that you're binding especially bigger drones like this. Now that we have our props removed, we're also going to power on our Zorro. Welcome to HTX. And you can see we've already selected the drone model that we've pre-configured in a previous video. To go back into our settings mode, we're going to hold down on the MDL or the model button and we're gonna scroll over one page. From that point on, we can scroll down to where we have our bind. And if you haven't done this already, we wanna be internal mode, turn to multi, type be in FR Sky D, and subtype be in D8. If you have all that, we can go down to where it says bind. And we're gonna highlight bind, and we're gonna put our transmitter down. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our Guardian V2. And I'm gonna use my barbecue skewer. Anytime that we're poking around any kind of control boards or anything that has current going through it, make sure that you use something that's wooden or non-conductive. And right on the top of our already one receiver here, you're gonna see a little tiny button that we can press down. We're gonna go ahead and press that down and we should see a light light up. There we go. We have our solid red light. From that point on, we can go ahead and press our rolly ball one time and you're gonna see this flashing, meaning it's now communicating and establishing a bind between the transmitter and the drone. All right, it stopped beeping. Let's go ahead and cycle the power. Now that we've cycled the power, let's go ahead and check out our switches. First, we have our aux one here. This should be our arming switch. If your arming switch doesn't work, it could be because your throttle is higher than the cut, and you can see it doesn't work until we take it all the way to the bottom and then cycle it. That's perfect. Next is going to be our acro button. Now this here basically is going to give us three different modes. The first mode is going to be a level assist, but then when you flip it all the way towards you, it's going to be fully aerobatic. So keep that in mind that when you start off, you want to be able to have everything switched away from you to get the best performance. Now these search assignments and these features are going to basically be as if you use the dump file for the Guardian V2. And that dump file is available when you go to our store listing. Go down below to our resources, you'll see a little link you click on. Go down to where it says Guardian V2. Now keep in mind, we actually programmed AUX1 through AUX4 here. That's because if you want to go back into beta flight and you want to activate features like beeper or flip over after crash, you can easily do so. Now at this point, we're ready to put our props back on and take this up for a maiden flight. Friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for building along with me, and we'll see you in the next video.